wouldn't you like to be a pepper too? Hey folks, I am the Mighty Plantain and we've got something new from Dr. Pepper. This is a Dr. Pepper and cream soda. So I guess they've taken the, the 23 flavors of Dr. Pepper and added cream soda to it. Caught my eye going through the store and we'll check it out here. Now I've had Dr. Pepper before. It's not one I gravitate towards on a regular basis. I mean, I'm not a huge fan, but I don't dislike it. It's a nice change up every now and then, but it's not one of my first choices. So it'll be interesting to see what happens with them mixing cream soda in with the other flavors. I have a feeling it's going to mellow it out a little bit, um, but it definitely just looks like a Dr. Pepper. It's got a bit of a brownish tinge to it. Honestly, I think the regular Dr. Pepper is a little more reddish than this is. And but let's get some light under it so we get a good look at it. <laughs> Not a lot of light coming up through there, but you can see down there at the bottom of the glass, there is a little bit of a reddish tinge to it, but more of a caramel color. And the, the regular Dr. Pepper does tend to have a slightly more reddish tinge than that. So, um, got a few bubbles coming up through, not all that effervescent, but it has been sitting there for a minute or two as well. I'm definitely smelling that unique flavor combination that you get from Dr. Pepper. Kind of subtle though, a little mellowed out. Not a very strong aroma coming off of it. Hmm. That is very, very interesting. Um, the cream soda did kind of mellow it out. And at first I'm getting a hint of Dr. Pepper, a hint of cream soda, a hint of Dr. Pepper, a hint of cream soda, and they just kind of roll around each other for a minute there, but it, it fades pretty quickly. I mean, I'm getting a lot of flavor up front, but then it, it slowly kind of, those two flavors just kind of cancel each other out and I'm left with a, a bit of a watery honestly a watery taste at the end. Um, it's definitely different, definitely unique. I can't find any fault with it. There's nothing that I don't like here specifically, but there's nothing that I'm really in love with either. So I'm probably not going to get another one of these. Um, it's just kind of there, you know. I, I'm like I said, I'm not a huge fan of the pep Dr. Pepper. I don't mind it. Um, I'm not a big cream soda person either, but I don't mind that at all. The two together, it's definitely unique and different. It's not something that I can really compare to anything else I've ever had before, except Dr. Pepper and cream soda. Um, so it's it's worth checking out. But like I said, for me, it's it's not one to go back to. I'm, I'm probably not going to pick up another one of these. It's just not leaving me with enough. Whew, pardon. Definitely got plenty of gas in there. Um, it's just not leaving me with enough to, to make me want it again. Um, and I did kind of struggle with this one as to what to mix with a Dr. Pepper or a cream soda or a combination of the two. So we're just going to go with um, Everclear. Nothing like a good 151 proof rum to start the night off with a kick. So... That's probably enough of that. Yep. And now all I taste is alcohol. Perfect. So that's just my thoughts on the, the Dr. Pepper and the cream soda combo. It's not bad. It's not great. I'm probably not going to be buying this on a regular basis. But if you, if you have a different thought on it, or if you agree with me, either way, still want to hear from you, hit me up down below in the comments, the email link. While you're down there, don't forget to like and share the video. Make sure to subscribe to the channel. Until next time, folks, thanks for tuning in. Cheers.